Hello there, uh, I'm Glenn Rodley, I'm Curator of Natural Science at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. Uh, welcome to another episode of Talking Treasures. Uh, this week we're going to go down to the biology store and have a look at one of Britain's rarest wildflowers. So here we are in our biology store, it's where we keep our natural science specimens um, that aren't currently on display including 15,000 plant specimens. So these are kept in what's known as a herbarium. Uh, the most are kept as pressed specimens, as herbarium sheets. So this here is an example of a herbarium sheet. You can see quite unlike uh, a living plant, it's been squashed flat, so it's quite like what you'd do as um, a hobby doing flower pressing. You squash the plant between some absorbent pieces of paper um, until the moisture's gone, and that stops it from going mouldy. So traditionally, uh, Victorians might have used one of these uh, this is a, a vasculum. So this is a big canister that you'd have strapped to your back and you'd go out on plant collecting expeditions and you could keep your plant specimens in there which would keep them fresh until you're back home. And then once you're back out from the field you could perhaps use something like this which is a plant press. You'd put your plant specimen inside there with perhaps a board and some absorbent tissue, traditionally newspaper, and you put the big heavy boards together. You can put clamps through each of the four holes in the corners and you can see here a big metal clamp which you'd use to squash the boards to squeeze out the moisture. You'd leave that for a few days to go nice and dry. Um, a poor basic version would be something like this. So again you could put boards and some paper through that, put your plants in the middle and simply tighten the belts to squeeze it nice and tight so it's a bit more of a, a portable version. So one of our most important objects in the collection is this uh, lady's slipper orchid. It was collected by Eric Eads, um, who collects about 6,000 of the flowering plants in our collection. And he was the author of the 1972 Flora of Staffordshire. He was known for brambles, um, but this specimen is an orchid. Um, and you can't really tell from this specimen, of course, because uh, one of the disadvantages of pressing a plant is you lose a lot of the colour, you lose a lot of the original shape. But this is actually one of the largest orchids in Britain. And this structure here would have been a large 3D brightly coloured structure called a labellum and that would have been for attracting insects uh, to land and help pollinate. And this orchid used to be really common across northern, um, northern England, especially North Yorkshire and the Yorkshire Dales, and it was commonly sold in market towns uh, until the 19th century um, when Victorians um, became really obsessed with collecting orchids and a craze called orchid delirium. Um, and then all of a sudden this orchid became really highly sought after for its beauty. Um, and wealthy collectors would even send people all over the world to find specimens for their collection. So when this was combined with the loss of habitat and an introduction of grazing sheep, this orchid rapidly lost the abundance that it had. Um, and by 1917, it was thought that this orchid had actually gone extinct in the UK. But that wasn't until about 1930 when a single specimen was found. And immediately a society was set up to protect this, this last living lady slipper orchid. And it was kept entirely secret except for a few botanists and for about 40 years hardly anyone knew the location of this rare orchid um, and that still continues today they're really heavily protected. Um, fortunately they are now found in a few more places across the UK thanks to a breeding program by Royal Botanic Kew um, but they still remain one of the rarest flowers um, in the UK. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode uh, be sure to follow us on social media and check out our website for future updates.